all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information as to the what in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel you kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we go collect them let's go down to the news proper uh, I say I can let me know. Yeah, Ibo Kwenu, Ibo Kwenu, Ibo Kwenu, Ibo Kwenu. Yeah, I'm open up one fibo. Eh, Makosi Ade. What I go? Eh, I see na biam biam na lebo a jane. I see kwanu onye fwa cheti fem melu mwa 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 give me mwa mwa mwa. I see na ega ade. Eh, I ade no tutu jina ba. I see chukoli sakile ni kwanu wa. I see na eke na ge. Eh, eke blue wa. Onye na emi feni ne kodema. Onye me eka isi na 2023, January. Eh, lue dizemba. We say na direct go, we say we carry enter, go carry commons. Na si kachin eke wero gono gondo na abisi ke wero walu no je. Onye na si unu nundoka. Amen, no. Let's go down to the full detail of the information of the day as it is chale. Eh, remember say you can see, um, give to us through the super chat. Uh, join us on the super chat and hit on the super chat. Uh, if you say okay, uh, you could push waiting that they do, they good for us. Uh, we won't surprise you. They say uh, Nigeria may never know peace. Bishop Mokolo declares over Namikano's continued detention. The Bishop of the Diocese on the Niger, Bright Reverend Owen Mokolo, has criticized the continued detention of the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Mas Nam the Kano, the cleric who asserted that Kano's further detention is resulting in more bloodshed in the southeast region of the country, said Nigeria may never know peace if the government, through the Supreme Court, insists on sending the separatists to jail. According to Wokolo, sending Kano to jail equals sending many Igbos to jail, a development he considered a call for more violence. The bishop expressed his belief that resolving Mazi Kano's case politically would be more effective than, than through the court. Regarding the recent Supreme Court ruling on Kano, the bishop stated that it could have brought some calm to the people of the region during the festive period. However, since the upper court ruled differently, there seemed to be no other option available. Nevertheless, Mokolo emphasized that this case was not an ordinary one, but rather a political motivated one that required a political solution. The cleric also play, played some blame on the people of the Southeast for not uniting their voice in the demanding the release of the IPOB leader. He advised that the people of the region should strive to work together for a common cause. He said, we thought that the Supreme Court would use the release of Kano to calm the nerves of the people of the region, but the reverse was the case. And one cannot do anything because the highest court, the highest court in, in the country has spoken. However, the people in the Southeast have learned to work together because united we stand, divided we fall. We can work together to make our zone peaceful and progressive. We must show empathy to things that are happening to others. We can also, in that unity, speak to the government of the day because the way it sees it. Now the kind of case is political, not an ordinary case. Political cases like these are handled politically. Courts cannot adjudicate on it without causing more problems. This is because if you imprison Kano, if you send them to jail, you are sending many Igbos to jail, and the country may never know peace. If you release him, you have released many Igbo people. The more they keep him in detention, the more they are unsettling the Southeast, and Nigeria does not need such distraction. We should come together as Igbo, speak one voice to the federal government and ask them to leave the young man. Then other things can follow. That is my view on the matter. Eh, when I don't hear I see they happen, person where they talk this one, Bishop Mokolo of Diocese on the Niger, 
Anglican Church as they be, the man don't talk your own. Uh, they say democracy not talk your own, make I talk my own. Uh, but waiting with the observe for Africa for NIGBC. Hmm. Uh, if you open your mouth, talk your own, anything where you see. Uh, make you take them like that too. If they carry hammer, break your head, now your own. If they carry you, put for Sanko, now your own. If they carry, if they finish your family, uh, these days, uh, be say if you talk to government now, <laughs> don't talk waiting they no like, uh, waiting they go do for you. They will come check you, check you, check all your properties, check whether you have something uh, in case you have hotel or you have a factory. Uh, what in the government we do now, we say they fit put road for that place where your house is. <laughs> but God, this shop for the border of Nigeria. Uh, I say Nigeria would have been one of the best countries in the world if the leaders uh, we have been having so far uh, have the interest of the people at heart. But the leaders do not have the interest of the people at heart. The constitution and whatever law that they are making is just to favor them. And their family, and um, once you try to uh, thwart that their plan, my brother, Hosu becomes your portion, and they want uh, to be free uh, to do whatever they want to do, and that is why uh, they don't want to hear anything that concerns Mazenam the Kano, uh, because they believe that Kano is spoiling their business. Imagine him coming to talk about freedom. Imagine him coming to talk about secession. Imagine him coming to talk about a better country, a better nation. I think um, there was a misconception, a, mis a lot of misunderstanding with regards to what MNK has been preaching. Even though there was a time he was a little bit tough, but I believe that that was out of aggression and anger of what is happening to his people. And um, it is surprising me now why MNK was there, where, where he stood for Nibo. He was, you know, revealing even many things that is happening in the politics of today. MNK reviewed it, and I don't know how he come about all those deep, deep information, uh, whether by prophecy or by studies, or maybe he has uh, intel uh, that informs him. And that is to show you that uh, he is really a government, because a government has uh, a deep and big, big intels that lets them know what is happening on the ground. And um, even... Tinubu becoming president today. Master Nandi kind of talked about it, and today it is happening. And this is to show you that uh, the man in question is a prophet and someone that is academic, very academically uh, inclined, and that is why uh, the people are on his neck. But the issue is, um, they say instead of everybody dying for one man, they say it's better for one man to die for everybody. So I think I'm. Um, Wait, what uh, Bishop Wokolo the talk, uh, that talk entail, uh, because if the Supreme Court carry Mars in the kind of jail now, you may say, uh, and uh, almost some of them did, but I don't follow, uh, what we say, the, the, the jail, because the thing is going to cause a big issue. It's already causing an issue now. Is it when you now decide not to release this person? So I think um, the federal government, according to what Okolo said, should find a way to sort this thing amicably, politically, and let this man go. Another thing is uh, has never come out in one voice to advocate for what they want. Ndibo has never come out. Because Ndibo are each and every one of them does not have one political agenda. For the outside, their political agenda is one. For the Fulanese, their political agenda is one. For the Yorubans, their political agenda is one. Even the South South that has been neglected, their political agenda is one. And these people have taken share of the uh, uh, political national cake. Yes. Uh, from the House of Fulanese, uh, Fulani, somebody has become a, a president. From the House of Somebody has become a president. From the Yoruba, somebody has become a president. From the South South, somebody has become a, a president. What is happening to the 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 the, 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 the South East? What is happening to the South East? Because Ndibo, Ndibo has not come together and say this is what we want. And rather, uh, what they end up doing is uh, sabotaging each other's effort. Uh, what they know how to do best is if, if this governor come in after building something, 
uh, the next governor that is coming in will make sure that he erase whatever the other governor has built so that his memory will not be remembered in that city and he will erect his own another governor will come and say he doesn't like it and destroy everything the past governor have made then i'm asking how can we go forward since you want everything to be you 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 and you meanwhile uh, you know get a cb will never be before uh, but you can have one day bob and day bob and uh, as soon as this is a day corner as this is a new book and i have a jury a budget yeah and now for no uh mop mop uh can we would you know so to what it will come in see up hmm it's a quality so when you see up and we're going to fall out of the end yeah no one called it as number one you go i'm going to love you for my would you me all all for a second double a here and if not the first time we'll be saying the kind of body took for this wonderful channel uh kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop you could be the first one collect them thank you for listening god bless you